Hello guys, it's Darren Gamer here and today I will be talking about top 10 achievements, accomplishments, benchmarks, tasks, whatever you want to call it. Top 10, well, we'll go with accomplishments that you may have in Brawl Stars. Here we go. So at number 10, we have final level in weekend game modes. Now, weekend game modes, you probably know them by now. Some of them include um, Boss Fight, uh, Robo Rumble, Big Game. Except we're going to exclude Big Game because you can't really re reach the final level there. But for game modes like Boss Fight and Robo Rumble, there are other levels despite the first five, which we usually complete to actually progress our Brawl Pass ranks. And so... Yeah, it may not be the easiest task to do that, but people have accomplished it. And if you have, that is an accomplishment that I can grant you. It is not everybody has it. It's pretty hard to achieve and good job. It's not something that a lot of people recognize, but if you put in the time and effort, you can get it. Coming in at number nine, we have Masters rank in either Club League or Power League. Now, I myself have not played Power League nor Club League in like some days. I'm not <laughs> very consistent with that. But if you happen to be, you can get on the leaderboard and then get recognized by the entire Brawl Stars community. So if it's not easy, again, it's pretty hard to get there. But I know some people have achieved it. And if you have, congratulations. It's not the easiest task in either power league or club league i don't think club league is as recognized but still it's good to represent your club in a professional manner as you strive to be the best out of the entire brawl stars community so congratulations it's an amazing achievement and i'm hoping you're proud of it or have achieved it if you haven't good luck it's hard i myself haven't gotten it so there it is and at number eight we have a rank 35 brawler now, rank 35 is almost, like, very hard. You earn almost no trophies for winning, and you lose, like, three times of what you can win when you lose one time. It's ridiculous. It's very hard to get a rank 35 brawler. My max rank is 30. I think I got, like, two brawlers, I believe, rank 30. I'm pretty sure I could be wrong. But, yeah, rank 35 is ridiculously hard. I'm hoping some people, some people that are watching this right now have it, but... If you do, it is amazing to have a rank 35 brawler. It's not hard. I mean, it is hard, but it's not like, oh my God, rank 35. Because, I mean, there's a lot of professional brawlers, brawl star, brawl starers out there that are playing and may have rank 35s. But still, it is something to be proud of. It is an accomplishment benchmark. So, congratulations. At number seven, we have getting your map featured on brawl stars so you know those community map maps that are made by communities and get and they're like on the mo most hand like right hand side yeah i mean even if you can't win trophies in them anymore they're still interesting to play and they can sometimes get your um tasks completed and so yeah it is it's kind of hard i mean i don't think i've ever yeah i have never gotten my map recognized I think I featured it sometimes, but it got like 50% approval rate. Not the best, but if you ever got your map up there, even if it was through like, please like or whatever, and you copied someone else. I mean, still, I respect the effort and congratulations if you've done that. And at number six, while very broad, it is still an achievement and something to be proud of is defeating teamers, which something which is something that we all may have already done to this point, but maybe not all of us. So like yeah we don't nobody likes teamers well to some point and so when you encounter them in solo showdown especially in high ranks and you're like a soft brawler and there's just a bunch of teamers you're pretty much guaranteed to lose but if you manage to pull off a counter and you can defeat all of them that's just impressive and it is something to be proud of a, a good benchmark a solid way to define yourself as a professional brawl stars player because defeating multiple brawlers that are working together against you is not the easiest task in the game at number five we have getting nine kills in one solo showdown game which is also very very hard i myself have never done this although i have tried for the past years 
The maximum I have gotten is 8 kills, I believe. And I think that video is on my channel. You should be seeing my thumbnail right now. But yeah, maybe if you have, let me know down below. Because it is very, I'm very curious if anybody actually pulled off 9 kills. It is a very difficult objective. So you should be proud if you have achieved it throughout your Brawl Stars career. As a player, that is. So at number four, we have a maxed account while being free to play. Well, it is difficult to have a maxed account, especially if you started not when it released globally. Like many players are maxed right now because they started when the game released globally in 2019, I believe. Or 2018, my bad. So yeah, a maxed account while being free to play. It is difficult well, because literally all Supercell games are meant to be pay to win. You can max your accounts by wasting money on gems and coins to progress your account faster. But free to play and maxed is a very good reputation. It shows that you're a good player and that you put in time and commitment towards the game to come to where you are right now. Congratulations on if you're free to play. I myself am sort of, but not really, because I started spending small amounts of money on skins, so lost my free to play status, but if you have it and you're maxed, congratulations. Uh, sliding into our top three, at number three, while it is a very interesting one, it's sort of more like a challenge rather than an achievement, but I myself have achieved it, which is why I put it on this list. Um, I like to call it low power, high rank. And so, as you can see in my past videos, um, Bonnie, yeah, Bonnie, I did not upgrade her. I pushed her to rank 25 at level 1. And so that is very difficult, which is why I was hoping I can push her even further. So once I'm on the leaderboard, global or local, people will go like, oh my god, he got a low rank, I mean, low power, high rank. That is so cool. And then like recognition or whatever. And I'm also trying to get Gus. In the same like case scenario where it's like low power high rank i'm currently like rank 20 power one so that's interesting but if you have anything like that or if you want to try it it is an interesting challenge and it's a good achievement you feel proud that you can actually like play a low power brawler among other people who are like power 11 and you can still win so something an achievement nevertheless at number two we have owning the star shelly skin now, you may be thinking, how is that an achievement? Well, it just shows that you're an OG. If Correct me if I'm wrong again. I may not be the best historical Brawl Stars knowledge player, but um, Star Shelly is one of the oldest skins in the game, and it was rewarded if you played in 2018, I believe, or like 2019. Basically, when the game released Global, it just shows you were there at its starting journey. And not everyone has it, since majority of players started a little bit later. And... Every day we stray further from 2019, 2018, so every day it becomes more rare. So I would suggest bringing it out, flexing on some people who may not have it. It is a rare skin. You should be proud of having it, and that is an achievement in my opinion. And lastly, at number one, it's more of a skill rather than an achievement slash accomplishment, but if you can do it, it's still pretty cool. I don't know if anybody... I don't know if majority of people know about this one, but I like to call it the cross bush um, technique. And so how it works is if you're in solo showdown and you know like bushes can be modified by explosive or, you know, supers, attacks, etc. gadgets, um, it can be positioned weirdly. And so when the two bodies of bushes are separated, they sometimes may be connected um, diagonally. Now based on my playing experience it's possible i think to cross them diagonally while it is very um hard i don't i i'm still not exactly 100 percent sure it's like possible i'm pretty sure once you cross it people will still see you crossing from one side to another but you can try it and if you do it successfully an opponent may not see you um joining or like merging into a different bush area at which point you can kill him or her and so yeah it is an interesting strategy and technique that you can utilize to your advantage and it can be provided useful in various game modes where there are bushes so yeah that will be all of my top 10 and don't think of these as they have to be in this order you can of course modify them i just put top 10 out there that i thought of and so these accomplishments, if you have any of them, let me know down below. Accomplishments, benchmarks, 
um, tasks, skills, whatever you want to categorize them as. And yes, that will conclude the video. I hope you enjoyed my representation of various accomplishments and tasks in Brawl Stars. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.